Hello Jams, how are you all? In today's session we are going to talk about possessives. Okay, so now let me tell you what are possessives. Possessive nouns are the nouns which shows the ownership or a direct connection. Okay, which shows the ownership or the direct connection. So now to make it more simple, we are going to look for some examples. So now in the first picture, you can see that there is a girl who is having a cat. Okay, so the sentence here is, I have got a cat. It is my cat. Okay, so now you can see in this sentence, the girl is showing that the cat belongs to her. She is having the ownership of her cat. Right, so there is a connection between the cat and the girl. So she has said that it is my cat. So the possessive here is my. Okay, so the word my is showing the connection between the cat and the girl. Okay, don't panic. We'll look for some other examples also. Let's look for the second example. Now, in the second example, you can see that there is a girl who is having a car. Okay, so in the sentence it is mentioned, she has got a car, it is her car. Okay, so here we can see that the word her shows the ownership of the girl over the car. Okay, so the girl is telling that this is a car which I have got and this is my car. So we are talking in third person aspect, so we are using her. She has got a car, it is her car. That means it is the girl's car. Okay? Now let's look for some other examples. So in the next picture you can see that there is a boy who is having a dog. Right? So the sentence we are using here is, He has got a dog, it is his dog. Correct? It is his dog. Now we are using the word his here because in the picture we are seeing a boy and we use his for a boy and we are telling the connection between the dog and the boy. So the person is saying that he has got a dog and it is his dog. That means it is the boy's dog. Correct? Now let's look for some other examples. Now in the fourth example you can clearly see that there are two children who are having a dog. So, instead of using he or she, we'll use we. Okay? So, the sentence are, we have got a dog. It is our dog. We have got a dog. It is our dog. So, here the possessive is are. Because this word is showing the connection between the children and their dog. Right? So, the possessive here is are. Now, in the next picture, you can see that there is a teddy bear which is having a candy in its hand and it is also having a bow over its neck. So, the sentence we are forming here is, it has got a bow, it is its bow. Okay. So, here the word its denotes the connection between the bow, the teddy bear is wearing and the teddy bear. So, here we are saying that the bow is connected with the teddy bear. So, the possessive we are having here is its. Now, in the next picture, you can see that there are two children again which are doing their work. So, you can clearly see that the girl is holding a pencil in her hand. Okay. So, the boy is saying to the girl that you have got a pencil. It is your pencil. So, in this sentence, the boy is sharing the connection between the pencil and the girl. That the girl is holding her pencil. So, the boy is saying that it is your pencil. So, the possessive here is correct. Your. And then, if you can see that the boy is also holding a laptop. Right? So, the girl is sharing the connection between the laptop and the boy. So, the sentence she is using is, you have got a laptop, it is your laptop. So, the girl is sharing that the laptop you are having is yours. 
so she is showing the connection between the laptop and the boy okay so the possessive here again is your now next we have is the last example for this topic so in this example you can clearly see that there are three children present in the picture and they are holding a book okay so the sentences denote they have got a book it is their book we are using the word they here because they are more than one person so they have got a book it is their book so now we cannot use his or her here because we are having more than one person and more than one gender here so we are using their instead of his or her so the possessive used here is their correct so now you got everything for the topic possessives now make sure you use them in your daily conversations and practice them regularly if you have any doubt be clear to ask them okay so we'll meet in our next session till then bye bye